Hey YouTubers, I'm going to do a review comparing a replica Avenue sling bag by Louis Vuitton to the real one. Price difference? About $1,900. So this one in Australia is currently for sale for $2,000 and 60 dollars. So 2000 and 60. And we got this one which I believe I paid around 80 US for on DHgate. So that came to be about maybe 110 Australian and I got a partial refund. I'm going to point out why. I was lucky to get a refund. So this arrived, came with its dust bag, which is what the real ones come in. And what I noticed about it straight away was I was like, wait a second, my little zippers here, they're not huge, they're not chunky, look at the real one. Look at them, they're oversized. They, they're hefty, they got a little bit of weight to them. So I noticed that right away and that's that disappointed me. They're still very nice, they're shiny, they're metallic looking. They look like luxury zippers, but the proportions are wrong. So I actually asked for like, I think a $20, $20 refund on DHgate, a partial refund, which they allow. And guess what? The seller agreed to it. So after that, I was quite happy with my bag. I was like, okay, so I only spent around 65 US, came to be about 80 Australian or something. I don't know. So I was happy after that. And then I checked in store and I noticed another minute detail. If we lift up this here. See that zip zipper there just comes down. The real one, if you were to lift this up, there's a little patch just under the zipper there. There's a little patch of material. So the zip doesn't come just to an abrupt end like this one. Focus. See, it just comes to an abrupt end little bit of stitching under it. The real one has like a patch of, I think it's almost like this material. And those are the only differences I could notice. Another thing is mine has a very nice shape. Okay, it sort of has that triangular kind of shape going on. Whereas the real one, let's get a, box, uh, a picture here. There's those nice big zips again. We go back here. There we go. So the real one, I noticed this in store, that it's very t big at the top. And it just doesn't have that kind of streamlined look. Whereas mine, it sort of, it moves up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can notice it in store. I don't know why they did that. Maybe because people like me put their iPads in it, so they decided to give it a, a more square look. So I actually feel like the shape on this one's a little bit better. As for the zippers, my friend said, I actually like them being smaller. He says, I don't like the big zips on the real one. It's like, okay, well, that's cool. He said it detracts from the bag. They stand out too much. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. What what do you think? Do you like the oversized zips? I'm gonna have another a closer look at the bag now. Let's look at the bottom here. Hmm, it's pretty good. Nice material. So the thing about this bag, and I'm gonna turn into a Louis Vuitton salesman now, is that it is made of plastic, and the real one is too. And they call it a canvas. So the base of this material is canvas, which is, you know, what you would paint a painting on, which is cloth and whatever else they put into it. And then the top layer is a water repellent, not water resistant coating. And this actually makes it really good for not aging like leather does. And it means you can just wipe it. I wiped it before this video I gave it a quick wipe so it presents well whereas leather is like skin leather 
can crack, leather bends, leather dries. So there you go, there's my little sales pitch for getting the canvas version and not the leather version, which I think is another thousand dollars more. A lot of people, they say, oh my god, two thousand dollars for a plastic bag? And the sales staff will always be like, well, you know, it's really good for keeping clean. You want to keep it clean. What do you think of the, the zipper size there? Sorry, the, the lighting keeps coming in and out here. There we go. So the strap's good. It's gonna... Let's take it to the ground. You know, the lighting keeps playing up. Let's look at this baby on the ground. Mm -hmm. So this pattern is called Damier, which is French for checkerboard. And then it is graphite. So the color here, it's, they call it a graphite shade. Let's open these pockets. Got two pockets. Hear that zip sound? That sounds like a nice zip, doesn't it? Not not too bad. Opens well. Pretty much the same as the real deal. So if we see here, look at that. Oh my gosh, it says Louis Vuitton made in France. I thought it was a Chinese copy. Oh well. Maybe they sent me the real one by mistake. I mean, looking inside a bag's not that interesting when there's nothing in it. But what I do is I put my iPad in this. It fits the iPad. You can put your wallet and your keys in the front. And if you're like me, who sometimes likes to go out with an iPad, because if I'm going to eat alone, I like to be entertained. So if, if I have to eat before work or something, I'll take this out and uh, put my iPad in. Or conversely, I can put a water bottle in. And it's just like a little, nice little day bag to go shopping. Guys can have handbags too, right? Don't judge. But it's not that feminine because a lot of rappers actually are getting into Louis Vuitton and you know, wearing the, the nice brand. So what do you think of this bag, guys? It's $80, I think, the final tally came to. You can decide which what strap you want it to, to um, put it on, which way you want to wear it. It's like a beauty sash, the way you wear it across your body. Look at that, huh? There we go. Sorry, wrong way. Louis Vuitton. That's my bag. It's my bag review. Why did I get it? I, I'd seen people wearing it, guys wearing it. I was actually really liking the big buckles. That's the only thing I don't like about the copy. I've actually, whenever I see a guy wearing this, and it's rare, but every now and then I'll see someone wearing it. I always check out these. Are they oversized? If they're not, <laughs> it's a DH gate customer like me. Who am I to judge? I did it too. And then if it's a real one, I'll be like, wow, you walk around with a $2,000 handbag? Sorry, man bag. Let's get the terminology right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my Louis Vuitton review.